back I'm walking in this spot of weather So leave a message and I'll call you back And it's on your The name? Your name? Oh, what? Your name? Honey, the, the pirate heads. So the blizzard comes, honey. Woo! Let's give it all one more time for Pebbles Mike Water, honey. Do direct from Philadelphia, honey. Woo! Girl, let's um tell them what we're gonna we show a project that she's doing, a little brief on video, and then after that, just give us an introduction of your video. Okay, I read a blog about street cross dressers, and the video is uh, street cross dressers. Street cross dressers like me. Oh, I love the sparklies. Thank you so much. Yeah, I read a blog about street cross dressers, and I was interviewed twice on HuffPost. Uh, HuffPost Live. So I spliced together a little bit of video from when I was uh, on the show, and after that, we'll talk a little bit more about it. So let's roll the video. Video, video, video. What's the, what's the name of the video? Straight cross dresses. Straight cross dresses. That's the, that's the title. Okay. I want to come see you because you're a. Uh, we can't hear you, honey. Put that louder. You choose to date people who cross dress and uh, you seek them out. So why uh, why do you do that? What, what is it about uh, dating somebody who cross dresses that you find a turn on? Uh, one thing I really like, I think of the saying, the imitation is a sincere form of flattery. I agree with that completely. The time and effort it takes for a man to transform themselves into feminine form is quite amazing. I like that, you know, the confidence that it gives someone when they are able to do that. And people can dress from different degrees, you know, really, really well, where they're completely passing. And some, not so much, but it's the effort and how they feel about themselves when they're dressed, you can see them radiating. With happiness and you know, makes me feel really good. So, um, my mom was one of the ones who actually encouraged me to um, write a blog about it. So, I started a blog uh, a couple of years ago about uh, cross dressers and street cross dressers specifically. And my mom and a couple of my friends encouraged me to actually start writing it, which, you know. I thought was really cool. Um, all my friends pretty much know, uh, so I don't get any weird reactions. Actually, when I do tell some of my friends who hadn't known previously, they're like, oh, I used to be a guy who was a cross dresser. Oh, yeah, I like guys when, you know, they're dressed up real nice or have makeup on or something. So, really, by telling people, I found out that there are more people who are into cross dressers. I'm really curious, Pebbles, do people, um, just, you know, as I asked with you, do people sort of misidentify your uh, sexuality? Do people just assume that you must be gay uh, if you want to date somebody who cross dresses? Um, I think a couple of people have thought that, but I tell them I'm not into vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty, which is pretty blunt, I guess, uh, to, to sort of say the least. But you know, do do people sort of like ask you kind of questions? Do you get people that don't understand that have been, you know, mean in the past? Is it kind of something that you've had to? Because you, you and William both speak really kind of eloquently about it, and you both have a really wonderful kind of way of talking about your life. But I'm assuming that not everybody is um, as, as gracious or as kind of you know tolerant um, as both of you seem to be. So you know, do you, do you get anyone ever kind of giving you? sort of slack for, for the way that you live your life. No one's giving me slack personally. Um, what was the, uh, what was the, what's the erotic appeal to you, Pebbles? Uh, I am very visual, and uh, I like the look. I like uh, a, a well-dressed man, whether he's dressed as a man or as a woman. But, I mean, most cross dresses don't go out for drag. They just, you know, go for a more passable look. So I'm just saying, like, you know, drag is... Uh, sort of the height of beauty, you know, it's like male to female beauty. And, you know, somewhere in between there and there, uh, you know, a lot of cross-references will 
you know, stopping, trying to look, at least as nice as they could. And, you know, I appreciate that being, you know, a visual person. Uh, and there, there are so many different types of cross-dressers. There's no one type of cross-dresser. There are some cross-dressers where dressing is an erotic thing that they sort of do behind the doors. And for other people, it's something that they want to be out and wearing. Some cross-dressers, um, you know, they know they're male, they're fine with being male, yet they want to wear more feminine clothing. And they want to be able to go out and wear that and not have somebody look at them weird, you know, or, you know, point at them and, you know, assume, you know, that their sexual orientation is whatever just because of what they're wearing. Mm. <laughs> For me, um, it's my goal to actually make it less taboo. I write a blog about street cross dressing where, you know, I want, you know, parents to be able to talk to their children about it, you know, that it's okay if a guy wants to wear women's clothing, that's okay. You know, it's just clothing. It's something made to cover your body. Mm. And, uh, you know, I keep my blog and everything I do completely G-rated, you know. Oh, if a uh, teenager, you know, happens to look my page and feels like, you know, hey, you know, I'm interested in this. If the mom comes in from and, you know, page is still up, it's not going to be anything that uh, is bad, you know, and they might actually learn something. Yeah, I've spoken to over 100 cross-dressers over the past few years. Um, you know, through instant messaging, and you know, some people it is a sexual charge. For a lot of people, it's not. For some people, it's just a feeling that something they have to do, or something that makes them feel good about themselves. It's not necessarily something that makes them sexually aroused, but it might make them feel sexy. You know, it might make them feel desirable. And. Uh, Okay, people come on in, people. We're gonna have a fabulous show. We're just showing this so you can understand that straight men also cross dress. If you didn't know that, you didn't know that? You know, you, you definitely didn't know that. Could you tell us very briefly um, about what you were speaking about there? Well, I was speaking about how there's different sorts of cross dressers that go anywhere from, you know, cross dressing, just like wearing underwear, women's underwear. To you know, fully dressing. Some people do it for uh, for fetish, and a lot of men don't do it as fetish. They just uh, like the way it feels and get the confidence it gives them. And it's not all a fetish scene. And I just try to promote that it's not all fetish that has to do with cross dressing. There could be young people who cross dress, and it's not. A fetish, sexual thing is just something that makes them feel good, makes them feel pretty, makes them feel sexy. Everyone wants to feel good about themselves. Ooh. Thank you so much because I bet a lot of this... She's telling us her blog for those of you that are interested about straight men that cross-dress. Give them your blog. My blog is straightcrossdressers.blogspot.com. Again, straightcrossdressers.blogspot.com. You can go there and see what I've written and uh, links to the videos and stuff like that. Well, Mamita, thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. All right, now, are you ready for a show? Come on, people.